I have plans for you, child. Right. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. Their vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity, High Judge Oriban. All right, so I just died. That's what happened. Right? <laughs> Is that seriously? I, did I just die? I still got my bloated. Void made short bloody work of the ship. Am I the lone survivor? Damn, I didn't save any of them. I'm just trying to take my shoes off. God damn it. I was really trying to save some of those guys. I wonder if it's possible. I'm sure it's possible to save some. The child has a small mirror in his hands. He holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. Come on, what's going on here? I'm not supposed to talk to Lily. <laughs> Tell the kid to keep him, to keep to himself. This is our famed storyteller. Really? Like what kind of stories? Dragon that marries an elf. That sounds silly. Can I hear it anyway? You warmly tell the tale of the dragon, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting the child. Are you a sorcerer? One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. <laughs> the child looks at you straight on, unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. I don't see any source on you or me. I guess they're wrong or crazy. <laughs> Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, and it's a lot nicer out here than outside. Is it? Okay. You didn't die. I guess I am, but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. Gotcha. Okay. You'll see. So I can't go over there. I gotta go over here then. Sight range and look at there are enemies ahead. Okay, plus left shifts to see the enemy's sight range. Void woken. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they've made it to shore. Uh yeah, let's do that. Do a raise blood of corpse. Alright, so there's one. Oh, in my turn. 
have him attack you and attack you again. Okay. See, I don't need to worry about blood sector. We'll do mosquito swarm for now, and we'll uh, we'll go right there. Then we'll do blood sector. Ow. I wonder if I can still use it. Yes, there we go. Easy enough. Supposed to keep those things at bay. I feel like I could have handled that different, but oh, you know what? We got a uh, got stuff here. Oh, well. I messed that up, but. Is what it is. Crafty weaponry, die by the sword, use to read and learn about crafting. Alright. That could definitely help. Alright, uh, let's go take the right side over here. The Red Prince, he survived. How did that happen? You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red color. This game is beautiful. It really is. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck had you not returned to the aid of your master down that dreadful hold. You have my gratitude. Good. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, shall we? Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so as far as the whole slave business is concerned, let's just forget about it. There we go, Red you Prince. As well have your freedom. I appreciate that, now, man. Then, if there's nothing further. If you really must know, I haven't quite decided yet. I have a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing here contemplating the waves. He sighs dramatically. Tell right. me. What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? Memories. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. And shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. All right. Of course, it's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am?
Ooh, say that you suppose he can be no. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do noble. Smash your forehead. Oh shit! You're the red prince. My bad, man. I am That's the you red are. prince. The all conqueror, the, the world, world tamer. tamer. Okay. The spouse of the sun. The spouse of the sun, huh? Of course you know me. There's a brief yeah, he's pause. pretty full of himself, During isn't he? His grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. I see that. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. This and that. Tag along. Do you really mean to compare the fate of an empire? To whatever foibles you seek to fix. I'll fucking punch hand, you, dude. I really could do with a dog's body. A dog's body? To be trustworthy enough. Oh, man. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. Fine, I accept. You better accept. On one condition. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer. One of our kind's revered mystics. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. Jolly good. So Might as well. that settled, first things first. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out goes without saying. It really does. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. The Red Prince nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. All right. Now, as you're away, you'll Dude, be traveling with I'm trying to play a game here. Proper forms of address include your majesty, your royal highness, <laughs> or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it you'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Oh, man. To unchain them, breaking the chain stops them from. Okay, gotcha. Uh, where should we go now? Huh? I think this is heading backwards. Yeah, it's heading backwards. We could go up. Let's try up. A black cat. Some would see this as an omen. The cat's eyes are clouded and gray, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Okay. Its eye okay. is clear, and it shakes its That's worse if you're not a lizard. Dan, does he? I, uh, I wouldn't want it to be worse, that's for sure. Oh, did we finally find something? know the truth magister now speak i am a proud lawyer to the stay back sorcerer and stay silent our godwoken speaks we know you've been helping sorcerers escape atusa we have proof i'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you alexander i know nothing of any escapees if you can tell the godwoken no more your tongue is of no use cut it out this can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Uh, think to yourself that this Alexander seems the type to roll over for a compliment. Uh... Shout that whether she's telling truth or lies, you won't find out by mutilating her. Stay silent, lizard. 
Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She grows. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. <laughs> to think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness? I believe we're done here. What oh, waste. shit. Come, we'll be needed elsewhere. The Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Anything cool on you? Let's see, healing potion, fires from grenade, that sounds cool. Resurrection scroll, resurrect a dead ally to 20% of their vitality at a location within 13 meters. Atusa's leg, might as well keep it, huh? Elves can't. Elves can eat limbs to experience the memories of the person that. Gotcha. I can't do that though. That black cat's gonna follow me. Huh? Are we seriously trying to go in here? I guess we still have our things on. Huh? Fort Joy Ghetto. Man, this is interesting. I will say that right now. It's very interesting. I got a cat with me somehow. I don't know how that happened. Um, but with that being said, though, guys, we have been uh, streaming for about two and a half hours now. It's getting kind of late uh, over here, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. I I'll do a, a stream solely dedicated to this game, and we'll uh, we'll try to dive really uh, really deep into it. It reminds me of a combination of like Skyrim and Diablo. Um, I've always been a fan of the the Diablo series, so uh, I'm I'm not I'm not too afraid to to continue trying to go through this and dungeon hunting and whatnot. Whatever we got to do to make ourselves badass. But uh, with that being said, though, guys, if you did enjoy, please do leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.